he was staying for an extended stay, um, actually in my personal property, left it immaculate, immaculate. Like, I'm like, did he even stay here? But on my bathroom, bathroom floor, which was his bathroom floor while he stayed, it was like he would take his underwear off every day and then just leave it. Today's episode is part of our Landlord Chronicle series, where we hear from amazing landlords about their most interesting landlording story, along with a lesson to help you invest better. I'm also in for, can you give me a story? You must have a story of something interesting that's happened at one of your properties. Uh, it can, I'll it can go be a first. Um, I'm trying to think, like, you know, what's, in, there's always something interesting, but what is like podcast worthy, right? What do other people One. This is one funny, I don't know if it's interesting, but this one funny time where these yeah, guests, had, it was a remote property that we were managing and the guests had an issue with Wi-Fi, and they're like, you know, it's really, really important that we get the Wi-Fi working. Like it is so important, even though we're very clear, like, Hey, you're in the middle of nowhere. Like we try, we got Starlink, but like, this, it, is, this is not in Columbus. This is like outside Columbus, outside, an, like hour, an, hour. an hour South, but I mean, in Ohio, an hour South, you're, Columbus, you're, yeah, yeah <laughs> you're pretty out there. Um, and so we're like, okay, we'll help you guys. Like they pay a lot of money. I think it's like $2,000 a night, this property. And so we go out there. I don't, I don't think I know this story. We open the door, you guys, and there are a bunch of furries recording uh, content. Yeah. And oh, wow. They were so nice. And like my could my like, perception. They're all, they're, all in, they're all in costume, basically, like as animals. Furry costume. Furry basically costume. like what are they called? Mascots. Yeah. <laughs> Doing things that I they were waiting like, to do when I, after I left, but like weird things. Weird, weird, well, weird, weird content. To us. Weird, weird to, to us. us. Correct. Weird Maybe to things us. you wouldn't do in public. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever that means. They were lovely. <laughs> Just open the doors and they were all men. So, and again, I'm, I'm in stereotype <laughs> here. To see a bunch of grown men in furry costumes really just focus about Wi-Fi because they had content to get out at this beautiful <laughs> high-end luxury property. It was just so, so much for me to handle. I was like, and then they left us mugs when they- Yes, of their faces uh, in their furry it costumes. Might be really famous. I don't furries. know. I don't know, but that was <laughs> that was an, a, it was an interesting. Did you fix the internet for him at least? We did fix. Yeah, we got him. Yeah. What did you do? Just like when you say fix the internet, basically turn them. Right. It's like pretty much it, it, people get like all like tech whatever, and it's like really if you just unplug the modem wait 10 seconds and plug it back in. You're going to be fine. But prior to going out there, I called the company to see what they could do. And then, yeah, we just, we adjusted the thing on the roof. Ooh, that was about it. <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, that's wild. Yeah, well, didn't you have like, a weird underwear story? Yeah. And I, I love that. Like Sarah and I are so lean on like always telling lovely stories because we love that. Like we don't have that many. Yeah. If we had like yeah, no, good story. yeah. yeah we've, we've had, have we had parties? Sure. Have we had like pe people leave guns? Sure. Have we had people like probably have like, you know, fights with their, the, whoever they were booking with, but, um, guests are normally lovely. I had one, he was a horror film, um, producer, loved him. He was staying for an extended stay, um, actually in my personal property, left it immaculate, immaculate. Like, I'm like, did he even stay here? But on my bathroom bathroom floor, which was his bathroom floor while he stayed. It was like, he would take his underwear off every day and then just leave it. <laughs> and so it was like a new pair of underwear every day of the week and black, of course. And then like left them. I actually, I did a, I did an Instagram. This is years ago, but my um, cleaner and I did an Instagram story. Cause we were like scooping them up and playing basketball with all of them. I had like a triple double. Cause I was like, kept like, I was like, she would like bat them down with some, like something else, but it was the weirdest. It was just like, hmm, like 
Why? So even though you stayed for a while, you cl- you cleaned it every day. Is that normal? No, 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 no. I'm that's what I'm saying. I cleaned at the end of the stay, and there was underwear for every day of the week, like that he had oh, stayed. So he was there for like a week, like and there was like seven. Underwear. Yeah, like like not a pile. They were like every day he would just drop them in a different location, like in the bath. My bathroom was large, and there was just like this confetti of underwear. I don't know, but the rest of the place was immaculate, and I was like, "There's no way he was like, I'm not going to take my underwear." Like, do you think you like left him as like a parting gift for you? Calling I don't know. Yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he, he like saw you on Instagram or something. It was like, uh, no, nah, I don't think. I, I mean, he was also a horror film director. Maybe it was like his thing, his signature move to like leave people are strange in the best underwear. ways. People are strange. <laughs> Look at the stories. We're, so we're actually writing a book of the hundred best landlord stories we get. So ah. uh, we will. Uh, I'm sure. The, I'm sure yours will make it. Um, you, you, we have, it's, it's, like, it's like it's like chicken soup for the soul, but like you know, with like a point to each story. And no, we want to do that. Actually, I love that because I want to start something like that for short term rentals. I want because there's so much on the out there on like. Airbnb Boston, like these like terrible, I tried to check into my Airbnb and it was a, in the bath, it was in a bathroom. It was like, wasn't what it was. I'm like, I want to tell stories of like what, what you're saying, chicken soup for the salt. Like, I want to guess, like you could, you see them sometimes like, Hey, I went into labor early and the guests let us stay for the first three months of my baby's life. And she's the Nana now or whatever, you know, like I want to hear these like awesome stories of like, we were you know, locked out and they came in the middle of the night. Like they, I know all those stories out there exist, but it doesn't, they're not as newsworthy as uh, the. Hey, you gotta, you gotta work for them a little bit, but yeah. uh, the, the good ones are there too. Um, and you guys, look, you guys saved a furry party. I don't even, what do you even call furry things? Furry. Oh, and then you have your, not, your, not horror, your horror guy who's basically trying to get your attention by leaving his black underwear. That's good. That's good. It was on brand. Hey, what the, hey, so we'll put your conference in the show notes. I love yeah. the hackers thing. Real Estate Hackers members do like saving money. We do have, that's kind of one of our things here. We have vendor relationships where every every vendor of ours gets a either pre-negotiated rate or a discount um, from vendors that we that we trust. And we trust you guys. I listen to your podcast. My wife does. She said you guys are the bomb. So, awesome. um, hey, well, thanks so much for joining. Yeah, thanks for having us. us. If people want to reach out directly, what's uh, like Instagram or your website or kind of f- fill people in if they want to be your friend? Oh, so we are thanks for visiting everywhere on the on the interwebs. So if you type in thanks for visiting, you're going to find our podcast. You're going to find our Instagram, our YouTube. But if you want to reach out directly, if something of the episode piqued your interest, you can write to us. Our email is hi at thanksforvisiting.me. Again, that's hi at thanksforvisiting.me. And you actually check it because that's how I found you guys. Ashley was like, here's their email. And I was like, they're not going to actually listen to this thing. And then you're like, yeah, it wasn't you, but it was like someone else on your team wrote back in like 10 minutes. It was like amazing. It was really good. I love that. Um, And by the way, you'll have have to have us back on because we are going to be changing from the dot me to the dot com. We'll tell you. Oh, you're buying the big one. The big URL. We we bought it. We bought it. In the migration. So we'll we'll, we'll tell, we can tell you that whole story. We'll need some domain authority We can do what you said ahead of time. We were. That's awesome. You guys are studs. Uh, I'm really excited. I'm going to, I'm going to come to your conference. I think you've convinced me. And, um, and uh, thanks so much for joining our show. And we'll put all your stuff in the show notes. And uh, you guys are doing some really awesome stuff. Thank you. Thanks. We appreciate it. All right. See you soon. So long. Thanks for listening to this edition of the Real Estate Hackers Show. If you've not yet become a member of Real Estate Hackers, you can do that for free at realestatehackers.com. Get access to all the amazing real estate hacker deals from incredible vendors, on a ton of content and materials for you, the investor. You can follow Real Estate Hackers on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. If you can give us a five-star review for the podcast, I would personally really appreciate it. We read every review, and thank you so much for helping us grow this community for you, the real estate investor.